Hey everybody, welcome to Philosophical Effery, a channel where I philosophize about the happenings in the world and the happenings of life. This is the third video in, on this channel, and hopefully um, I get about five views. But anyways, I just kind of wanted to talk about how Boeing is a real red flag for us Americans in the world, of course, because anything that's wrong with America means it's even more wrong in the world. But the thing about Boeing is that it kind of shows how the immediate infrastructure in this country, whether it be physical, technical, spiritual, old, is not only degraded, and she's, if you hear a bunch of yelling, I'm in the garage at the work, but it's not only degraded, right? But it has been degrading and the people in charge of this infrastructure has known it has been degrading, but not only have they been keeping it a secret from us, they've been raising the prices on all these goods, services, and everything we just need in everyday life, right? They've been raising the prices while giving us degraded goods. So everything has been degraded while their stocks and their houses and the breasts on their wives have been upgraded, right? And it's crazy because see the thing the thing I don't like about this Boeing situation is it's not even the them getting the the whistleblower because we all know they got him. Okay, let, let's not. Oh, I don't want to do speculation this and that. I hate when people say that because it's like, like sometimes sometimes we don't we don't need to go for that fairness and equality and reporting. We know we know when we know. Okay, we know what happened to that guy. We know he didn't do that to himself. Why is he going? He had no reason to even do that to himself. You know what I'm saying? So. The thing I hate the most is that people are not going to speak about this enough. Because you, you got to understand, right? That airplanes are generally safe methods to travel. And it's crazy to think because, you know, they fly at these altitudes, which I, sometimes I wonder, do we even need to fly that high? But, you know, they fly at these crazy altitudes and, you know, they have all this machinery where if, if a freaking pigeon gets stuck in the turbine, it'll blow the whole thing up, you know, but you're still probably going to die if you drive, right? The car is probably going to off you than a boat, than a plane, sometimes even more than a tiger or a shark. And you got a, you got a better chance of getting struck by lightning or attacked by a shark or sometimes struck by lightning while being attacked by a shark than, you know, losing your life in an airplane. So with Boeing, with their wheels falling off and their systems going kaput, you know, it, it, it's, it's kind of crazy because they, they're taking something that really with, with, with actual effort is a safe method of travel and they're making it terrorizing it. And, and the crazier thing for me is that I didn't know that Boeing's operation internationally, especially in countries like India, it's even worse. And of course, places like India, they, they have a lot of, you know, uh, crashes with their airplanes and trains and stuff like that. So it's commonplace. But still, I feel like, you know, you guys should work even better, honestly, overseas because it's just, it's cheaper and everything like that. I don't know. But the thing we got to kind of recognize is that this also lets us know that there are other things, there are other companies that we are actively depending on, that we have, you know, good, that we have good, uh, not intentions, but views on that are currently giving us products that we do not know uh, are faulty and may not work. Uh, one way you can tell we're going through this is there are people speaking out more and more about how our electrical grid systems are antiquated and they're very, very susceptible to cyber attacks, which is which is the truth. Do uh, you also have people who have been speaking out? I've heard this myself a lot lately about uh, how, you know, in a lot of areas, the plumbing and the you know sewer systems, old, antiquated. There are other areas where like they're, they're trained. I know New York's underground train system. I, I've heard about Boston, but I'm not so sure. But I know New York. 
they've had to rehaul that like a lot like there's a lot of work that needs to go into their train systems there's a whole lot of infrastructure out there that has just been either flat out ignored or just just put under the rug and these are things that we everyday americans have to depend on for you know for our food we have to depend on for our work for transporting us places you know and it's crazy because america is like this is why people call america babylon right because america is a place where it's a cor it's a corporation made to make money but it's getting to the point where the rich the elites have made so much money and created so much money that i think they're actively trying to lose money i feel like their lives have become so meaningless because they've had everything that they're trying to create more problems so that they can feel like they're doing something when they solve them or something i don't know it to a degree it almost feels like they're sacrificing us because you know it's getting to the point where like we have the money to fix a lot of these issues and it's just not put towards it the taxpayers i mean we'd be paying taxes and half this a lot of cities like orlando for example they take the taxes to build highways to make more traffic and, and you know it's scary it's really scary I'm trying to look for houses right now and after years of being like I want to live in Italy and live like a Parisian you know I want to have my my bakery and have my my Publix down the street and I want to have something to go walk to and walk around like I kind of had that where I recently lived and it was cool but it was too expensive and I'm kind of just over the city life and I really just want to move out to the boondocks but we're going to get to a point where a lot of rural areas mainly because since they're kind of out the way and they're a bit low maintenance they're going to have better infrastructures than a lot of cities we're going to we're going to see coming up because here's the thing taking back to what I said about money the elites have siphoned so much money that even the places that have money are now losing money. Just the way a lot of cities are operating, you know, uh, you, you know, like a lot, for example, if you look up a lot of urbanist people like uh, not just bikes, how they talk about suburbia, suburbia is poor as fuck, mainly because they don't have enough actual business in suburban areas to support any of the projects. So when they build new streets or they build new cul-de-sacs or uh parking lot boxes for stores there's there's so much parking and just so much car infrastructure and so little because everything single family households for the most part or two two thousand dollar apartments there's so much of that that you don't have the volume of people necessary engaging in business to support these things that everyone's paying taxes for and a lot of cities have devolved that way. Like if you look at a lot of American cities, one thing you'll notice is that the downtown area will have a couple skyscrapers. And then outside of that, like, and you know, a little bit, you know, depending on how old the city is or how they develop, and then a little bit just outside the downtown limits, you might have like in Orlando here, like there's like a smattering of single family homes and apartments and townhouses. It's actually cre incredible. They, like Orlando almost had it. They were this close. They were this close to being like, the freaking uh chicago or something of the south they were this close and you see it all like that and then once you get out to, outside of downtown and you're in the orange blossom or the millennia district or going towards alafia where ucf is just almost it's just either apartment a row of a row or a block you know a super center whatever something like that and houses 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 everywhere and there are potholes and broken roads all over this place and sometimes you see abandoned houses and homeless people are all over you know you know <laughs> and there's there's we america technically has all the money in the world and we just are obsessed with ruling the world because we were so afraid of some other country getting ready to invade us and realistically the only countries that we'd even have to worry about that were from were the germans 
old Germans, you know, who I'm speaking about, uh, Soviet Union, also, because I heard the Russians actually were pretty friendly with us for a while, and like China now, but realistically, there is no country powerful to take over the United States, but everything we're doing overseas and stuff is strictly because we're taking over, uh, and for some reason, we don't want to learn from history. Oh, no, wait. We do learn from history. It's just that those are in, those in charge want to maintain the status quo because they love a good tragedy. But I'm breaking off because, you know, I'm going to my philosophical rant. So the thing is, that the, my biggest thing now is that trying to find distant land. I'm, I'm into that mode where I, I want to be more self-dependent. I want to have land to till. I want to learn how to make stuff. Like, I want to learn, for example, ideally, I would like to make cotton fabrics and designs so then I can make my own clothes. And I would like a loom. I would like to build a shed for my loom and a shed for all my stuff, you know? And I want to have space and time for that and everything like that. But with the way the architecture of, of, of our country is going in in the physical space and the technical space. Sometimes I wonder how like how feasible is that going to be if, if there's a real if, if stuff goes down. You know, people have been talking about the possibility of a big EMP attack that could just destroy grids all over. Like think about Texas, woo! That privately owned place. Think man, think about like a couple years ago. What was it like? What 2020, 2021? I think it was like 2021 where. Uh, that freeze came over Texas and just like just choked it just choked the living life out of the electrical grid there because it's privatized so a lot of people you know got asked out and some sometimes they even went into debt because of that think about attacking Texas man that would just that would be crazy or New York you know New York because New York has so much all that concrete and all those buildings and all those pet people squ squashed in. It is very hard for a lot of uh, repairs to be done in New York because they because just the way just the way the infrastructure is. There's so much stuff on top of each other. They have to go around this and go around that, and and then they even to remove and place and remove. It's 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 quite a mess. Uh, and our politicians, they are who who we thought they were. <laughs> you know. Uh, that there, our politicians are not here for us Americans. They are here to make money for themselves and to keep certain groups in power and control and collectively. You know, uh, Boeing has been for years. It, it's been documented for years. They ain't shit as a company for years. They just been fucking up, and you know. We've heard a we've heard a, a lot like this about a lot of companies in general. I think about car companies. A lot of American car companies. So many car companies have had all these recalls in their cars and known for being unreliable and stuff. You know, uh, why are companies that have been just on on that on that bullshit? Let me think. Let me think. Because there's there's so many. Uh, Damn, I'm trying to get it in my head, but I can't think right now because I'm trying to get the whole philosophy point. But we all know certain companies that we know of that have had certain reputations for, like Amazon, a normal way, Amazon, making people pee in bottles and everything like that. Like these companies are so greedy that they actively, they, they're, they, they're actively making it so that they don't obtain the most money possible. It's crazy. They all work off a system of infinite growth but they don't even grow properly because in my opinion if you treat your employees correctly and you pay them correctly usually your employees are going to reciprocate that back to you with the money they earn from you you know boeing treats all their cut other employees great well shit if i work for boeing I, I might as well just take boeing planes when i gotta go somewhere it's amazon treat i mean of course everyone still buys from amazon but like it, it's the thing of you, if you, if, if I'm working in this company, you treat me right. I'm gonna stay here. I'm gonna keep my money with y'all. So you pay me, but I'm, I'm gonna pay you back anyway. But if you treat me like absolute shit, I'm not gonna. And, and I can't afford anything. I can't even afford that business with you. So you're basically cutting out your customer base. You know these companies. 
and I, I even I even I'm, I'm even starting to question how smart these companies are that are in charge of us. Like I'm really kind of starting to come to the realization that the people in charge of these companies and the country are just smart enough to to organize with each other, but they are spiritually and emotionally retarded. Like these people, like they're beyond crazy. They're just so stupid socially that that's why people keep considering them lizard people. Because it's like the way they act towards us literally looks like this. That's how they are. That's how they are with us. They're like, it's, and it's they've been doing this for decades. They've been treating us like absolute trash. And we have had protest after protest. And I'm fortunate to say the only reason we don't have no real change is because we haven't had something like the French Revolution. See, these people are the kind of people where they don't mind having you... Okay, this is the hard part because this is the climax of the whole thing. The people in charge of these companies in our in our government, the major company, do not mind taking your life or having you take your own life. Because people reproduce, there are millions upon millions of us in this country, possibly billions. Well, maybe not billions, maybe a billion. Yet. We never really know. There's so many our documented people here from everywhere, not just Mexico, not just China, everywhere. But there's so many of us and we're so expendable to them that when a Boeing plane falls apart and five people die or when a, a, a cat caterpillar thing goes off the rails or uh, they or, 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 a, or a train, right? A train with some chemicals blows up in the river and then, you know, all the fish turn into that three that three eyed fish from Simpsons and everybody is like going like this after they drink the water, right? <laughs> They, they don't care. It's, it's as business and they keep on keeping it pushing. They are literally playing with our lives. Like it's not like it's not, it don't even serve a real purpose besides either two things. They're just having fun with it or they're sacrificing us to demons. Okay. And, uh, oh, lost track of mine again. And they're not really going to get it together until it happens to them. And that's why we're in talks now people think civil war may be at play in america and for those of us who are spiritual like me because i believe in yahweh bahashim yahushai bahashim or hakadesh that there will be a antichrist coming and because of the antichrist when the real messiah or the hamashiach comes there will be a great war and you know i might not i might not make it through i might get if i don't take that mark here or here that might be the end of my story and my family's story. You know, but that's that's how things are going to get. That's that's really when it comes down to it, like things are fine for now, but the tipping point is going to be had eventually. And Boeing is a good company to look at to kind of remind you that these multi-billion dollar corporations, the people that work on them the, that are at the head, they're not that smart. The people that work under them, they're they're so tired at the bottom and the people, they just don't care about their workers. They don't care about you. They really don't care about themselves. Because realistically, even if you buy yourselves all the finest gold in the world and the finest jewelry, if you don't treat your fellow man with respect, your fellow man that you depend on at the end of the day, these people depend on these people building their planes and, and building their schematics and all this stuff. They depend on these people. Otherwise, they don't have anything either. You treat them like shit. You really treating yourself like shit in the long run. It won't help you. It won't work out. And you need to find Yahweh. You need to find God. But anyways, that's the video for you today. Um, hopefully I can get out of this garage.